Hey guys, how are you today? This is Jim Prusak. I'm a physical therapist here at the PMPT. And today we're going to go over a study. I think you guys are going to find this really interesting and it really supports the work I'm doing here and many others are doing to try to really bring mental health and psychology into physiology and so that we can understand that we are not cut off at the head and the body. They're not two separate things. This study is going to blow you away in terms of its findings. What they did was, these are researchers at the University of California, San Francisco in a 2018 study. And the title of the study was Comparing Anxiety and Depression to Obesity and Smoking as Predictors of Major Medical Illness and Somatic Symptoms. So basically they're looking at anxiety and depression and obesity and smoking and seeing how they played out as predictors of medical illness and physical somatic complaints. Now their hypothesis was that obesity and smoking were going to be stronger predictors of health issues than anxiety and depression. But let's go through what they did and what the results were. So they took data from what was called a health and retirement study, which was a collection of data over a period of time and over 15,000 people, average age of 68. And they took data and they're looking for anxiety and depression, which they screened for in these people. And they also looked over a period of four years. So this study was over a period of four years. And they looked at data points, two different data points over these four years. Okay, so initially looking for screening for anxiety and depression at the beginning of the study, as well as obesity and smoking. And then what they did was look at what would happen over these four years. And so the medical illnesses that they were looking for were heart disease, stroke, arthritis, high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer. And the somatic symptoms that they were screening for were stomach problems, shortness of breath, dizziness, back pain, headaches, body pains, and eyesight issues. And like I said, they, they, they assessed the data on two different occasions over four years. What were the results? So right from the study, right from the authors, and I'm going to link the study at the bottom of the notes here, of uh, the video, is that they found anxiety and depression symptoms predicted greater incidence of nearly all medical illnesses and somatic symptoms except for cancer. The effects were as strong as or stronger than those of obesity and smoking. So let that sink in for a minute. What they found was that anxiety and depression, two mental psychological constructs with deal with emotions, were as strong or stronger in the prediction of medical illness and somatic complaints than obesity and smoking. Now, they weren't expecting this result. They thought it would be the other way around. Now, obesity was linked with diabetes, which makes sense. But other than that, every other illness I mentioned to you and every other somatic complaint had anxiety and depression as a predictor of causing these things as an onset over a period of four years. Okay, and they found in their conclusion that many of these patients are not being assessed by healthcare practitioners for this relationship. And they also found that anxiety was um, neglected in many studies as a risk factor for these medical illnesses and somatic complaints. Now, as you guys know from watching my YouTube channel and what I'm putting out there, I talk about these things all the time, how emotions can play into physical health issues. Now, this study really, really backs it up, and it really shows that the power of our mental health and our emotions and our psychological health has huge implications for our physical health, even more so than smoking and obesity, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. And how many people are looking at this? How many people and doctors are asking you about your mental health and the relationship between maybe anxiety and depression and your physical health? Now, I see this all the time in my practice with working with people, how emotions and anxiety and depression can actually cause physical symptoms. And the only uh, way we know that people have this sometimes is through physical symptoms. So sometimes anxiety and depression are showing up more physically than emotionally. 
And we talked a lot about this here at the Pain PT. And I want you guys to understand if you're new to this channel or new to this, that be, just because you have physical health complaints and somatic symptoms doesn't mean there's just a physical cause to it. I think that's where people get um, sort of misunderstood here is that if you have physical somatic complaints, it can only be a physical cause. That's just not true as the study shows. In fact, it shows that the emotions and the psychological constructs are as important, if not more important, to the onset of physical symptoms than some physical things like obesity and smoking. So when we're talking about depression, I just want to drop this in here. Depression is really also emotion that's not being expressed, right? It's being depressed into the body. And what they found in a lot of research that's related to anger, anger directed inward. And when we're looking at anxiety, we're looking at what? The emotion of fear, okay? Now, depression can also have elements of sadness. So we're looking at three core emotions here of fear, anger, and sadness, and how these emotions, which take the form of anxiety and depression, can play into physical problems in the body. Now, I'm going to tell you here that these emotions aren't bad. They're normal. Every human has them. It's how we deal with our emotions and how we process them and what's called our emotion regulation style that can have impacts on our health. And that's sort of the work I do here with helping people to part of the work is getting in touch with how they deal with their emotions, how they deal with their anxiety and depression and find better ways to work with these things so that they don't manifest as physical somatic complaints. So I hope you guys learned something from this today. I actually did. I was surprised when I came across the study. I couldn't believe the results. But it doesn't necessarily um, totally surprise me because I see this every day with people I work with. Reach out with questions, guys, comments, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.